teacher with the Post K computer. Hello, friends. Welcome to our special class. Today, we will hear from Dr. Yutaka Ishikawa, the leader of a team that is building one of the world's most powerful computers. Let's listen and learn from his story. Hello, I'm Yutaka Ishikawa. Do you know about supercomputers? Do you know what makes them super? As you know, your computer at home can do all kinds of work. Put simply, to calculate. Performing calculations is a computer's mission. There are computers that can calculate much faster than a home computer. They are called supercomputers. I see. Does Japan have supercomputers? Yes, quite a few. One of the most powerful is located in Kobe City, in Hyogo Prefecture. It's called the K-Computer, and it is about 30 times the size of this room. Wow! That's incredible! What does it calculate? Oh, it does calculations for many purposes. Let me give you one example. The K computer is used to calculate how the heart beats to help us understand how to fix heart diseases. This will be a great help for doctors. Can't we just feel how our hearts beat? Well, we can, but it's not possible to see it, how it beats with the naked eye because it's inside our body. That's where supercomputers are needed. They can tell us how the heart is beating, accurately. I really don't understand how you can calculate a heartbeat. The heart is a muscle that can be divided into many pieces. Each piece moves according to specific rules. These rules can be expressed in equations, number sentences, that use the same rules of addition and multiplication that you already understand. A heartbeat can be calculated using math? Correct. But the number of calculations needed is incredibly large. So we depend on the K computer. Great! So we can see the heart beating very clearly. Yes. Now you understand K's power. But there's more. The fact is, Dr. Ishikawa is making an even more powerful supercomputer. Wow! Right. We're calling it the Post-K Computer. It will easily beat the K in the race for faster calculations. I expect it will allow us to do many great things. For example, the post-K machine will be able to do calculations of many other parts of our bodies, helping to determine the causes of many serious diseases. The post-K will be a guardian for people's health, I would say. Can the post-K do anything else? Well, it can warn us about localized unexpected rainstorms. The K computer can calculate an approaching downpour half a day in advance. It just isn't powerful enough to predict the type of torrential rain that falls shortly after clouds form. Because the post-K computer will be able to calculate much faster than K, it will be able to warn us of the arrival of torrential rain up to 30 minutes in advance. So we can play outside without worrying about rainstorms? Helping people live their daily lives without worry. That is one of the most important jobs we expect this super fast computer to be able to do. The Post K can also help reduce earthquake damage. 
That's great. The post case sounds impressive. It will be great. Someday I'll use it to design a car that uses hardly any gas. Of course, by all means. I want to use it to get new clues about the universe. That will be possible too. Really? The post K will be able to do that too? The post K will be almighty. Then, I'll try to build supercomputers that are even better than the post K. Excellent idea. The further supercomputers advance, the more they will be able to do. The sky is the limit for both supercomputers and for you, boys and girls. Keep on learning and take on a lot of challenges, just like the K and the post K.